On the Medical Watch, cyclist versus car door. In the bike-friendly city of Chicago, the number of wheels on the road are up, but that means the injuries are rolling in. Bike lanes, 248 miles of them painted on the pavement of Chicago streets. Some quiet, others crowded with trucks and cars, thanks to two mayors, Richard Daly and Rahm Emanuel. The lanes are designed to offer those navigating the city on two wheels safe passage, unless a door suddenly opens in their path. You think you're prepared for it, but uh, yeah, it, it happens in an instant. Just about every employee at Boulevard Bikes in Logan Square has been doored, stopped in their tracks by the sudden impact. For shop owner Kevin Womack, who uses a bicycle 95% of the time to get around, it was a minivan that took him out. I smashed my hand, caught the door in the nook of my neck. I didn't fall off. Um, it could be a lot worse. It was worse for Adrian Red. I totally did the typical, like, flipped over the door, <laughs> like, scraped up my whole, like, lip and chin. <laughs> Luckily, my helmet saved my head. The seasoned cyclists have learned how to coast through the city safely. As a cyclist, you sort of learn to look into the, the, the windows of a car to see if somebody's getting out. I typically ride along the white stripe. If you plant yourself in the middle of that bike lane, you'll be doored by any door that pops open. It's quite surprising. And painful. At Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, Dr. John Fernandez has treated dozens of patients with dooring injuries, ranging from minor scrapes to multiple breaks. You're going from speed, depending on how fast the bike is traveling, let's say 20 or 30 miles an hour, to literally zero, right? And so those are the most severe injuries, and those can range from fatalities to significant closed head injuries, cervical spine injuries, but then also, in my case, upper extremity injuries, severe fractures and dislocations. Like in this case, a dislocated and fractured wrist that required surgery and multiple pins and screws to reset the broken bones. And you could see that this bone is almost sticking up through the skin. In her case, actually, part of the bone did go through the skin. And basically, the hand is dislocated backwards. It's a pretty grotesque injury. But this was literally about a year and a half worth of treatment in terms of the post-operative recovery. Across town, attorney Brendan Kevinitis devotes much of his practice to bike crashes. Right now, he and his associates have 200 cases in the works, 30 of those involving dooring accidents. Dooring cases are probably the most common type of bike crash we see. Like this one, the accident happened on Milwaukee Avenue in 2016. It involves a 60-year-old bicyclist, as you can see there, who was riding northbound on Milwaukee Avenue, right where he was supposed to, along the right side of the roadway, right where a bike lane would be, when this car door just opens in front of him without any warning of any kind. He suffered a, a head injury, uh, laceration to his face. Um, it could have been a whole lot worse for him. But the driver who opened the door was not ticketed. The law is very clear, both statewide and here in the city, about requiring motorists to look before opening their doors. So if a motorist open their door, hits a cyclist, they're going to be liable. That's why Governor Rauner wants everyone to learn this maneuver. It's called the Dutch Reach. If you're going to get out of the car, use your right hand to open the door. That way you twist your torso so you can see any bikers potentially coming by. We're evolving as a cycling city. More people are using it, more people are seeing the benefits of biking everywhere, but at the same time, we have a long way to go because there's just too much injury and too many deaths caused by careless motorists. Often we're busy, we're on our phone, we're thinking of where we have to go, and we just open the door without thinking. We have to be more aware. We have to be more kind and think uh, of the people that might be on the other side of that door when we're opening it. Beginning January 1st, 2019, the Dutch Reach Maneuver will be taught in driver's ed. Back to you.